This video is sponsored by ProPokemon.com, the ultimate source for Pokemon trading card game articles. The premium membership will give you access to the best uh, articles on the net and will give you deck lists and concepts that the writers are currently thinking about. So you and your friends will definitely do better when you get the premium membership at ProPokemon.com. Yeah, it's 2013, it's time for some stuff you've never even seen in your life TCG is back, hi, people wanna fight, yeah that's right Using the best ace back cards around, I'll be ready to defeat all the clowns That think they know everything, but don't just think You can beat me like one, two, three, it's not that easy Don't you see, do you even have a strategy or do you just look online and copy everything on my That's not original, do you feel fine? The deck is not yours I know you might score But the feeling matters as well Do your thing And show me the stuff That you can bring And to all the fans Keep on making them plans To become better in the game I'll keep giving you the info Like last year It'll be the same Don't listen to what people are saying The game is awesome It is amazing So go on this year Without changing Yeah What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here, and yes, you're not dreaming, I'm back with another episode. This time around, we'll be checking out the 8 Japanese black and white set, and after that, there's of course Poke News as always. Alright, we'll kick things off with a Spiral Force. First up is Execute, which has an ability, Sap Slipper, which states, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you can put it into your hand. This actually is a really neat ability to have, because it might work really well with certain strategies. It evolves to Executor, uh, his first attack deals 10 damage and your opponent can't play any supporters from his or her hand during his or her next turn. So uh, you can use it as a supporter block for a while, which is always nice to have. Uh, next up is a Sceptile line. This, uh, the best attack would be the second one which deals 80 damage and heals 20 damage from each of your Pokemon with an energy card attached to it. But uh, since it takes 3 energies I don't think we'll be seeing it uh, anytime soon in the upcoming tournament since we don't have Grass Acceleration yet. Uh, then we have the first EX of the set, Heatran. His first attack deals 60 damage and if Heatran is affected by a special condition you deal 120 damage instead with this attack. So uh, this is a decent uh, attack for just a fire and a DCE but special conditions are never good to begin with. Uh, his second attack deals 80 damage for uh, an additional fire energy and uh, if you have a plasma energy attached to it it deals uh, 80 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on the defending Pokemon otherwise it only deals 80 damage. So it can actually uh, two shot almost anything in the current format with a second attack. Uh, next is uh, Chandler line and uh, this Chandler has an awesome ability because uh, yeah it states once during your turn you may search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon and if you do this you only have to put one damage counter on that Pokemon so it reminds me of Typhlosion's Afterburner from the Hurt Gold Silver set uh, yeah which is always uh, nice to have a fire energy straight from your deck and extra energy acceleration. And then we have Horsey and Cedra, which aren't that interesting, so we'll go to the last evolution line, Kingdra. And uh, this one has a, yeah, a first attack that states, uh, shuffle all water and lightning energies from your discard pile uh, to your deck. And uh, this attack deals 20 damage times the number of cards you shuffle back into your deck that way. So this could actually be really powerful in the late game. And uh, then we have his second attack that deals 30 damage to 3 of your opponent's Pokemon for only a water energy. Yeah, you heard me right, we had a triple laser from Reggie Steel EX. That deals the exact same thing for 3 energies, while Kingdra can do it for just 1 energy. So Kingdra definitely has potential in the near future. Next is uh, Glaceon, which has an ability Freeze Zone, and it states all of your Team Plasma Pokemon require 2 energy less to retreat. So uh, this could help you out to retreat your huge Plasma Pokemon. But uh, there's uh, actually a better 2 card uh, to uh, retreat Pokemon, which I'll explain later. And uh, then we have a Seismitoad Evolution Line. The most interesting attack for this Pokemon, of course, uh, Seismitoad, is uh, the first one which deals 30 damage to your active uh, to your opponent's active Pokemon and then deals 30 damage to all the bench Pokemon, uh, both yours and your opponent's. So for only one DCE you can uh, use a really powerful spread attack and this could actually work really well with Mr. Mime which I'll talk about later on. Next we have Jolteon and his second attack deals 40 damage and if you uh, dealt the damage to an EX Pokemon, that Pokemon can attack during your opponent's next turn. So that rocks. Next we have a Lantern line and a Lantern deals a uh, 30 damage plus 30 more for each special energy attached to, uh, to it uh, with his first attack. 
so this could be uh it has a bit of a potential but only 90 hp so i don't think uh, people actually will use it since 90 hp isn't that enough uh, in the current format dark Riot even knocks it out in one shot so next we have zakram and nope it's not a reaper and this time around it does have the same hp like before 130 but the attacks are different thank god the first attack isn't affected by resistance and the second attack deals 80 damage and if you have a rush ram on your bench uh, you deal uh, 120 damage instead so this will be used since it's a huge hp basic pokemon and rush ram is a huge basic pokemon as well it could be combined in the zakram uh, yeah whatever i'm gonna call it uh, the Rayquaza, zakram mewtwo deck <laughs> yeah it could be really really useful since you use fire and lightning energies next we have Dio queen but it's not that great in my opinion so let's go on to mr mime his ability is awesome when uh, you have him in play your bench pokemon can't receive any damage so that's why i mentioned the uh, Mr. Mime before with Seismic Toad, so this could be a really great uh, combination, a cheap uh, little sweet deck, you can combine it like that. Next we have Aspion, it can deal 20 damage, and as a side effect you can draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand, but I wouldn't waste an attack to draw cards with a stage 1 Pokemon, um, basic Pokemon are way better to do that. And uh, now we have uh, another EX, Deoxys. It has an ability, Power Connect, which says all of your Team Plasma Pokemon, excluding Deoxys EX, deal 10 more damage to the defending Pokemon. And his attack deals uh, 30 damage. And if your uh, Deoxys has a Plasma Energy attached to it, it deals 30 damage extra for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So definitely a playable EX card. Next is Yamask, which evolves to Kafagragus. Which is uh, quite an interesting card. The ability it has states uh, once during your turn you may use this ability. If you do, the defending Pokemon is now uh, not the defending Pokemon. You are now knocked out. So Kafagragus blows himself up for some reason. And if you do that, you can place three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So this could be really helpful to knock out a Pokemon that only has uh, 30 HP or less remaining. And definitely uh, a good way to knock out an EX to get yourself two prize cards really fast. And you can always attack afterwards with another Pokemon. And uh, the attack it has is also interesting, it deals 70 damage and the side effect is something unique. It states, during your opponent's next turn, all of your opponent's coin flips are considered tails. So you can actually troll your opponent really well with this card. Then we have the Tynamo Killer Mankey, which goes to Primate, but it isn't that strong to be honest. Then there's Onyx, it has a ton of HP, but uh, yeah, the attack costs are ridiculous. It goes to Steelix, which has 150 HP for a stage 1, which is huge, but uh, his attack costs remain, which is way too much. Also, his uh, retreat cost sucks so uh, i wouldn't uh, actually mention steelix but this is a full review so i'll mention every last card of the set uh, next we have a uh, sneasel which goes to weavile uh, it deals 10 damage to each of your opponent's pokemon for only a colorless energy his second attack states that you uh, may discard as many Pokemon from your hand as you like and this attack deals 30 damage times the number of cards you discarded this way. This could actually work really well with the Execute I mentioned. I, if you manage to have 4 Executes in your deck and then uh, you have them all in the discard pile you can actually deal 120 damage time after time and you can always uh, use a Dark Patch as energy acceleration for your Weavile. So Weavile has great potential together with Execute. Next is the uh, Absol which deals uh, uh, 20 damage plus 20 more for each Pokemon. Uh, Actually, each Pokemon on your opponent's bench, so uh, in total, that could be uh, 120 damage as a maximum. Also, has a second attack uh, uh, that deals, uh, yeah, it actually doesn't uh, deal that lots of damage, but you can check out your opponent's hand, which is always a nice thing. Next is uh, Crocodile, uh, Crocodile line, it has uh, quite some decent attacks, it's a Plasma Pokemon as well, and it's Darkness, so it definitely will be tested. And next is another EX, Latios, it's quite decent in my opinion, in a combination with Blastoise as an energy accelerator, uh, because uh, his second attack states that you have to discard all of uh, the energies attached to Latios, so uh, with Blastoise you can get him back and just attack the Psychic Energy and you're back on track to deal 150 damage. And uh, then there's a new Radicate line, it's uh, the first attack that you want to look at with, with Radicate. Let's pick, uh, actually it lets you pick one Team Plasma Pokemon, one Team Plasma Trainer card, and one Team Plasma Energy card from your discard pile and put them straight into your hand. So this will definitely be used in Plasma decks to get by, uh, resources back from the discard pile. And uh, then we also have a Simple EV, a Noctowl line, a Mill Tank, and a Cacreon with a nice ability. Because uh, while this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, it has the same type as your opponent's active Pokemon. So you can actually uh, get the same type as your opponent. It also has an attack copy which states, choose an attack from the defending Pokemon. And if Cacodon has the required energies, you can perform that attack as this attack. So which is uh, 
could be useful but Cacleon I'm not a big fan of that because you have to copy I'm not uh, really a copycat in the 3 TCG game I like to uh, have an original strategy and uh, now we have the trader cards we have super energy retrieval which is a reprint from long ago it still states discard two cards from your hand in order to get back four basic energies from the discard pile and you can actually uh, if you discard two energies that through uh, this method you can get those back you have to get four basic energies that are already in the discard pile those you can get back otherwise it's uh, not the good uh, next is a new supporter uh, yeah, Jetsis uh, it lets you look at your opponent's hand and uh, your opponent has to shuffle all his or her item cards back into his or her deck and you can draw one card for each item card that he or she shuffled in so quite a disruptive and great uh, uh, supporter to use next is a new stadium card frozen city it states when either player discards uh, not discards attaches an energy card to uh, his or her non-team plasma pokemon he or she places two damage counters on that pokemon so uh, if you create a plasma deck this could be really useful since uh, you won't uh, actually uh, have you always have the benefit from this stadium card and your opponent will only have to put damage counters on their non-team plasma pokemon and uh, next we have a triple rocky helmet aka rock guard and uh, it's an a spec card that puts six damage counters on your opponent's pokemon if they attack you while you have this attached to your active pokemon and next is a uh, plasma energy and uh, then uh, the full art versions of the cards i already explained the shinies and uh, spiral force are all reprints but uh, quite good ones indeed we have Apollyon with the ability to draw cards Sigilyph with the ability to uh, prevent damage from EX Pokemon and that Ultra Ball to get back a Pokemon from your deck and, uh, and uh, expense for uh, actually discarding only two cards from your hand. So uh, a great combination of uh, Shinies in this set. And now let's check out Thunder Knuckle. We start with a Beedrill Evolution line and its first attack is really great. It deals 40 damage and confuses and poisons the defending Pokemon. But if Beedrill has any damage counters on it, it only deals 20 damage without any side effects. Uh, so uh, yeah, I heard Beedrill can't sting. Next is a weak uh, Cacturn line that there's Leafeon. It can deal 20 damage times the number of energies attached to the defending Pokemon with its first attack, which is quite decent. And uh, next is Flareon with a uh, his first attack, Vengeance, that deals uh, 20 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon and your discard pal. And then we have Reshiram, his second attack deals 120 damage, just like Zekrom, but you'll need to have Zekrom on your bench or otherwise you'll only deal 80 damage. Next is Vaporeon, which isn't that good to be honest, next is the Quagsire line. And Quagsire has an ability that reduces all the damage done to him by uh, your opponent's active Pokemon by 20. Uh, too bad that his attack isn't that great. Uh, now we have a Vanalix line. And, uh, his Snowball Max Attack states, flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack deals 60 damage times the number of hits, so with Flip Toonie and Blastoise, the attack power is endless. Here we have uh, Cryogonal, which can be helped uh, to buy some time, because you have to discard an energy attached to Cryogonal uh, with a second attack, and uh, in return, uh, your opponent's defending Pokemon can attack uh, on his next turn. Uh, next is a new Kira, a big HP Pokemon, and uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, a great card to be used with Blastoise. Uh, now it's an uh, Electrode line, and uh, it has the ability until, uh, yeah, you can draw cards until you have four cards in your hand with the ability. Uh, next is a terrible Pachirichu, too bad, and the past with Call of Legends Pachirichu was great, and now it sucks. Then we have a new EX, Thunderous EX, I already explained this one in a previous episode. Next is Nidoking. Um, the Nido King line, uh, it isn't actually that good, but it deals 20 damage plus 40 more for each Nido Queen on your bench. So, uh, with some Nido King, Nido Queen action, uh, <laughs> we can have some uh, decent damage, but you'll have to have lots of rare candies in your deck. Uh, and next, we have Grimer, which goes to Mug, but I don't really like the attack cost of this Pokemon. Next is Metagross. The attack is terrible, but it has the ability to search out a Team Plasma card once during your turn and put it in your hand, so this could be actually useful. Next is a Hariyama line, which sucks. Then we have Umbreon, which is a, a, a really epic ability because every Team Plasma Pokemon gets 20 extra HP thanks to that ability, so that's quite useful. Then we have Bisharp line, uh, yeah, Bisharp line with, uh, yeah the uh, first stage as well but uh, it isn't that good then we have a hey dragon line and this time hey dragon doesn't have an ability and uh, the attacks aren't good either so i'll just go to the next one my well again this one sucks as well but since this is a full review you'll see every last one uh, of the cards you'll uh, get to get and these sets uh, here is a uh, dragonite it looks pretty nice and uh, and uh, your binder but uh, yeah it looks actually really nice in your binder it says it's a holographic card 
but I'm afraid that's all it's good for because people won't use it in any deck anytime soon. And uh, here is Latias EX which has the ability uh, that states that this Pokemon is unaffected by moves from a Pokemon that has an ability so it's an ideal Pokemon to buy time with since there are so many Pokemon with abilities. Just think about it, uh, Darkrai EX, uh, uh, Electric even though Electric doesn't attack but there are still many Pokemon with an ability. Next is uh, EV. Uh, this one is interesting because uh, yeah it's another EV from uh, the other set but yeah this EV can search your deck out for 3 cards that evolve from EV with its first attack and put them directly in your hand. So we might see another EV deck like the one in the past in the old school EX era. Next is the Staraptor line but I'm afraid I don't see any potential for this one. And then we have Tornado EX. His first attack reminds me of Eek from Cleffa but yeah from the Hercules of Silver series and uh, yeah as I said this one yeah, it's a basic Pokemon, so you can actually use it. It only takes one energy, so it's great. And uh, that it also has potential to deal lots of damage with a second attack. It deals 60 damage plus 30 more for each plasma energy attached to it. So, yeah, with some uh, four plasma energies, just a uh, count, you can deal uh, lots of damage, actually. And then there's a. Uh, uh, the trainer cards here, we have Team Plasma's Pokeball and uh, it lets you search your deck out for a Team Plasma Pokemon. Wow, what a surprise. Anyway, uh, next is a Float Stone which gives you a free retreat to all the Pokemon that actually hold this card. So it's a tool card, if you uh, attach it to your uh, fat Snorlax, it'll have free retreat, so that's why it's so good. Alright, the next one is a new supporter called Shadow Triad and this card lets you search your discard pile for a Team Plasma card and put it in your hand and uh, this will be used in Team Plasma decks of course. Then we have Life Essence, this tool card is an ace pack card that lets your opponent take one last prize card when they knock out one of your Pokemon that's holding this item card. So when they knock out an EX uh, with, uh, while it's holding uh, Life Essence, they'll only take one prize card. If they knock out a Pokemon uh, without an EX like a, a regular Snorlax with holding this, uh, while holding this item, they'll take no prize cards at all. So uh, really great combination, uh, Life Essence. Uh, next up are the Full Arts, we have Tor uh, Thunderous EX, Latias EX, Tornadus EX and then Juniper of course. Yeah, finally Juniper has a Full Art version and there are also three Shinies here, also reprints. We have Garbodor, that, uh, the Ability Blocker and then there's Garchomp and Max Potion. So lots of shiny stuff is coming our way and that's it for the entire review of the latest Japanese set Spiral Force and Thunder Knuckle. Now to Poké News, uh, black and white set, the number 9 set uh, in Japan will be called Megalo Cannon and uh, yeah, it will be released on March 15 and will feature Genesect as in the X and now some English news to finish this episode, Plasma Storm, yeah that's right, our latest set is coming out on February 6th and will feature 135 cards, so we'll up. Here we have the booster pack artworks and they'll also uh, have the tins available featuring some EXs, Black Urim EX, Caldeo EX and White Curum EX. You can also get uh, an Elite uh, Trainer box which features 7 Plasma Storm uh, booster packs, 40 uh, Pokemon TCG energy cards, 2 uh, condition markers, 6 uh, damage counters, uh, actually uh, damage counter dices, or a uh, dice, it's not a plural uh, like that. Anyway, a coin, a player's guide, a deck box and a collection box to hold some cards safe. So uh, actually a great way to get into the, the TCG competitive scene with Plasma Storm. Also uh, the team decks will feature Dredagon and uh, the other team deck will feature Giratina. There will also be blisters available with a uh, Ninetales promo uh, card in there. Also a 2-pack blister featuring a Wigglytuff line and uh, I believe that's it for another episode. I hope you guys appreciate my work because I tried to give you all the latest info from Japan before it comes out in uh, an English release. So if you enjoyed this episode click the like button because you know I always appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed yet you can do it right now. And if you enjoy uh, following a playthrough of a unique Pokemon game check out my Liquid Crystal videos. Anyway this was Sabdos TCG. I hope you all had an awesome time during the Christmas holidays. Have a nice day and till next time.